Now that our export is complete, what we want to do is load our WordPress theme. Now we've created a basic WordPress blog uh, just for testing and this is the WordPress version 3.91. Now we've also loaded the theme unit variables. Um, this is required and is the true test of any WordPress theme. It must pass the theme unit test. So what we're going to do is load our WordPress theme and we're going to see it here afterwards. So let's just go ahead and do that. So you can simply just drag the folder or what you can do is zip it and load it online if that's basically what you're doing if you're working with the online blog. So all we have to do is just refresh the page and you'll see that our theme is loaded. Now the icon was created basically from our actual Photoshop file. What it will do is it will actually take a screenshot of your Photoshop document and then it will actually crop and resize it. So basically if you want to create your own custom icon you can just uh, add a skip layer or a skip folder and create an icon at the top within the same region. So let's go ahead and let's go back and take a look at the actual WordPress theme. Let's go ahead and activate that. So our theme is now active. You'll see this is our current theme now. This is the original WordPress theme. So let's reload the page. And you'll see that we actually have our full-blown WordPress theme from our Photoshop file. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at each individual section in a bit more detail. You'll see with the heading, uh, it actually says My Website. This is the title of our actual blog. Now this is reflective from our Photoshop file. If we take a look, we're using Blog Info Name. Now we did note that we did have a custom menu and again this was using our WordPress nav option. So what we have here is that we have our actual menu called header menu. So if we go back to the WordPress admin what we can do is we can actually modify that. So if we look in our menus. Now what we want to do is we want to assign a menu. So we can do this, uh, let's select short for example. And we want to manage the location. Now this might be different depending on your WordPress version, but basically you just want to assign it. You'll see that we have header menu, and this is reflective of our Photoshop file where we actually used header menu in the layer name. So let's go back. Let's assign short to it. Let's save those changes. And let's refresh the page. And you'll see automatically we have our entire menu from our Photoshop file. Now again this is reflective of the actual settings that we've declared here. You'll see that we do have a few classes that we've actually set. So under label and BG, if you note in our styles, uh, let's just take a look at them really quick. What we have is we have our nav item BG and we have our nav item label. Now we also have an anchor and a regular label. This is just so our, our default anchor doesn't overwrite our actual label styles because you'll see we do declare an anchor here. So you'll see these two styles for our default and our hover state and this is reflective again in our actual WordPress output. Now in our index file, let's go back and let's take a look at it again. you'll see that what we did was that we assigned fixes to actually designate where the content will be located. In our actual design we also included the title and the excerpt and an image if there was one included. Now in our theme unit test we didn't actually download the images but if a post does have an image you'll see that it will change it to include that image. Now we did also assign uh, the actual uh, uh, permalink for the post so if you clicked one of these it would actually go to that page so let's go ahead and let's test one you'll see we're on the markup and the formatting page. Now again, all of these definitions and these styles are done from our actual Photoshop file. So let's go ahead and let's test a few more pages and you'll see again this is actually our single page so this page itself does not have an image otherwise the post thumbnail image would have appeared. Um, let's look for one that does have an image. Let's go through a few first. So this is our page image alignment. You'll see that it fully passes the WordPress theme unit test. Let's go back and let's look at our page formatting. Now let's go ahead and let's uh, take a look at a post per se. Oh, that's a standard. Let's look at one more. August. <laughs> uh, I have no clue as to exactly what posts are within what time frames. It's a scheduled. Okay, let's take a look at Hello World. So we'll see, for instance, it also supports the comments that we had. 
and again all these styles are defined in our actual Photoshop file uh, let's try to find one that does have an image well, let's test Twitter embeds, why not? Twitter embeds work perfectly let's test audio Uh, either way, you can go through it yourself, but you'll see it does pass the theme unit test off the bat directly from Photoshop, a WordPress theme output in a couple of minutes. Now this theme itself, uh, out of the gate, let's take a look at some of the other admin options. Now we did say that we did allow you to actually customize a few things. Once you add the theme, the first thing you'll get is your actual admin area. Now this will be dependent upon what individual options you've assigned to what pages and you'll see them basically in individual tabs. Now I did say that what it will do is it'll actually segment the options depending on the folder. So let's take a look at the header per se. We have header content and we also have the BG color and the logo. If we go back to the actual Photoshop file, we take a look at header. What we have here is we have the BG, BG color, that's what we've assigned it, and we have the logo. So we go back to our WordPress admin and we can actually modify these options directly in the admin. Now there are a few default options where per se you could change the name of your theme if you wanted so let's save those changes along with some of the logo and the other settings uh, for the content um, if you want a default margin and you can also just revert it back to the default settings also. Now we did set a lot of options for a few pages so you can see that it will actually segment them all individually so you can modify these options on the fly in your actual output. Now this is great if you have a client per se that they you know they want to design and after the design they want to change every individual thing. Now you don't have to complain just tell them sure charge them 50 bucks for every time you have to change a layer name. So let's explore a couple options really quick. Uh, we notice on our index page, if you look in our index header, we have a title and a description. Now this is reflected from our Photoshop file. You'll see that this is our index header and if we actually click the layer, you'll note that we do have an option for it, title, and the ID is home title. And you'll see that this is actually located in index header. So if we flip back to WordPress, we have Toronto's award-winning creative agency and let's go back to our home page Toronto's award-winning creative agency now let's go ahead and test this uh, up here. now that we saved that see my new WordPress blog let's just go ahead and refresh that page my new WordPress blog oh yeah imagine how much your clients will love that every layer that you create you can simply add an option now they can take it and do whatever they'd like now if we go and we look at the actual PHP files uh, let's go ahead and let's open up an editor you can use any editor and let's explore the actual files themselves you'll see that it does include the skins and all skins are referenced in the actual WordPress folder uh, also with individual styles depending on what you've created now if we go and we look at the PHP files um, actually we don't need to look at too many let's look at the styles let's look at index functions uh, header and possibly uh, archive for fun so in our styles you'll see that it does create all the necessary WordPress styles and also all the styles from your actual Photoshop file now the index you'll see it is very structured and it is very clean HTML and PHP now this is all designated from your actual Photoshop PSD file uh, you'll note really quick you'll see that we have an option home description home title and again if we were to check the PSD home title home description so let's go back and look at the PHP. You'll see all our options are declared. It actually structures your entire WordPress PHP file based on your actual PSD from Photoshop. So you'll see that within our actual index, we have our div posts. Uh, we have our while, which is our actual loop. Um, we have if it has a post thumbnail. Uh, if it doesn't, it'll just actually render differently, slightly. Um, and it'll actually render all the information individually based on our actual Photoshop PSD file. So if we were to look again at our index page, um, Let's go and check really quick. We have our posts, 
we have our loop and we have our fixes uh, both before and after the loop we have our individual posts and we have our two conditional folders so you'll see that we have our actual loop we have our conditional folder within our post we actually have our fix which is before and we have our fix after the loop and you'll see that we have each actual individual condition whether it has a thumbnail or it doesn't have a thumbnail uh, header again very clean very clear very concise you'll also see the custom menu that it will create based on your actual photoshop file once again you'll note that these are the characters that we use to display the name um, whatever character you define in photoshop it will use that so we recommend that you choose exactly what and where you want placed let's just go back to the php file again now blog info name that was actually declared in our photoshop file and let's take a look at the functions now you'll see that it does build your entire functions file along with your actual admin uh, this is both the view and all the actual elements that are required to customize your photoshop file and it does this on the fly let's just scroll through it you can take a look at it in detail once you do it yourself